Hey aviators, this is American Air Geek here. So today I'll be doing a four model massive unboxing, a birthday massive unboxing. So massive unboxing maybe once in a year because you know birthdays I get a ton of models. That's like the time I get a ton of models. So yeah, let's just get started. So we have four models, three United and one Alaska. So let's just get in first one. So the first model I ordered October 8th, which you guys should sure, sure know, it's the United 757-200 in the Yule Blue livery. So all right, let's open up the box, start the review. Turn out the plane, I mean the box. The box, age is 14 plus, that's not very accurate at all. All right, let's open up the box. So I heard that this model has the CRP card, which is the Collective Reward Points card. And NG models will definitely make collecting planes even better than Gemini kits. So, here's the card. You can pause to read. Back up the card. I'm not going to scratch unscratch the code for you guys. It's mine. Right, open up this box. Take out this plastic wrapper. Yeah, this model well, was really hard to do, especially the semitone minutes. What in the world? Wow, that looks amazing. Oh my. And oh my god. This is just perfect. Above my expectations as I judged the cover of the mod. Let's get into the details. So we got the cock, the nose, uh, the windows connecting people not in war, I believe. Uh, Star Alliance gear, taxi gear, and then the door. United titles, RB2 11 engines. The engines used to move from NG stuff or someone. Ooh, it doesn't move anymore. That's really good. Thank you, NG. And that kind of weird looking, not weird looking, just kind of the paint is weird on the main gear. Scimitar wheelets, other than Gemini's oversized one. Wi Fi box, November 4, 127. And then the evil blue tail. On the other side, basically nothing too special. Bottom of the model. This is amazing. Wow. NG. You did amazing with that. Alright, let's see if it fits on the stand. Because the old Sun Pi Sun Malls used to have an issue with that. Okay. Yeah, this is harder putting on it. Oh, yeah, it fits. Yay. So, if I'm going to do airport updates, easier to use this plane. Alright, let's leave. That model to our side, and the next one that arrived is the pretty rare United 77 shade. It's not like pretty rare, but like uh, it's starting to get out quick and more expensive on eBay. So let's just get reviewing the box. Pamphlet, pause the video if you wish to read this. November 27901 is the registration. This is the older model, so. Basically, it's Phoenix Models mode. Wing flex on the box. Does not mean it will wing flex on the model. Oh, 2014. My second 2014 model. I don't know which one's older, though. My I'm not sure what it is. Let's right, open up this. Or I could, uh, more like Phoenix Models to me, because this is models from Phoenix Models mode. Okay, open up. Ooh, it was pretty heavy, honestly. Wow, that doesn't look too bad at all. Except some mode issues that it's 2014. Yeah, it shouldn't be too, too a big deal, though. All right, let's get started in the details. Let's flip this plane around. All right, the, one I'm, the thing that most bothered me is the cockpit windows. Phoenix models did terrible on that. Uh, no talking windows, star lines thing. I don't think they used to have that. United, collective United World, and uh, the bent, pretty big nose gear. E tops, star lines, United titles, gold line stripe. I feel like it's a little too high to me. 
GNX Ninja doesn't look too low as Gemini slash JC's mode, but like still pretty bad. And then main gear and Phoenix models moment. Ooh yeah, that's just, that's how do you like, that's how do you make Wing Flex looks better on a sunny side. Registration over two oh nine zero one, and then the tail. Oh yeah, I think the titles are too bold to me. What is that? The model does not look too bold to be honest. And I hope this thing doesn't win flex. Oh yeah, it does. Bottom of the model. Nice job, Phoenix models. I should say not Gemini Jets when making this model. Back in 2014, really good. If it was 2021, then I wouldn't accept it. All right, next model. So this model, my real live friend Shadow Man 2 gave me. Shout out to him or Flagship Fire 12. I'll try to link that. His channel description. Bought this via Alaska Airlines Company store. Twenty dollars for one of four hundred. Alaska Airlines seven thirty seven nine hundred ER and UNCF slash our commitment livery. Twenty bucks. All right. Yeah, that is really cheap. And I have dreamed about getting one of those models from uh, Alaska Airlines Company store. Eh, at least he made them for it. Yeah, shout out to him. And let's just get started. No, fuck. Sorry if I was wobbling my camera around a lot. Pamphlet. Ooh, model. That looks, doesn't look too bad. Let's back up the box. That's never true. 2021. Cheap model. Should be pretty good. This Gemini Jet, so yes. But it's not gonna be bad like Gemini Kids. If it is Gemini Kids, then that's a problem. Okay. Put up this. And then take out this model. Ooh, not bad. So far, so good. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. The livery looks really good, but the mold itself is terrible. Oh my god, look at. This front nose color, color is absolutely wrong. NG also has the issue, but like, too bad. Gemini NG already screwed up. Boy, what, what did I see? Unstable wobbly engines? Let me take a look. Oh, yeah, it is wobbly. Gemini kits. Number one, Gemini kits. All right, let's get into detail of this plane. Nose, cockpit windows, E-tops. And the nose gear looks a little fixed. I'm going to compare it to my United 7800 later. And then door education is most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Uh, the titles for inside is different, I believe. Pretty low, terrible UNCF engines. Here's the gear that looks terribly color. Oversized scimitar wheelets, and they have the Chester face on that. Some people on this in the November 490 Office Sierra, Alaska Airlines on the tail. Title says, the time is always right to do what is right. And then this engine is more accurate. Oh, hmm. Oversized scimitar, beautiful wheelies. In registration. Huh, that looks a little weird, uh, nose gear. I mean, main gear. This one rolls. This ooh, why does this this one roll? It's weird. Oh, this looks uneven. Wow, that looks uneven. That's not good. Hmm. Bottom of the plane. Hey, not bad. For twenty dollars. If I was forty dollars, I would immediately return this slash sell this on eBay. Alright, the last oh yeah, before the last model, I need to compare the nose gears. <laughs> so I think they fixed the uh, uh, the nose gears, cause as you can see here, uh, this is this tire is a little smaller and gears like a little higher. This one's higher than twenty nineteen, so yeah, I think they fixed it. That's good, Gemini. But come on, keep up the good work and don't make Gemini kids. All right, last model is the one that just came arrived in the mailbox today. The other ones arrived like a week or two earlier. It's United seven eight seven ten. 
This video was supposed to plan now to be a week ago to be recorded, but our model store took forever to ship out this model. Yep, the our model store got good prices, but pretty bad shipping handling responsibility. All right, let's get started. Pamphlet. Oh, where's the registration? Oh, November one two zero one zero. box as always this is not always true even this even this 2020 release so last year i mean i mean 2020 gemini just released plenty of united heavy planes like the 76 7300 gr uh 777 200 77 9 and 10 the gemini did release plenty of those heavy united planes are they good? Not always, but we can say this. Maybe the small is good. Yeah, this small, the 77 10 molds usually come broken with the D attached wing. It's a little different mode than the dash in dash 9 molds. Alright. Take it down. Oh my god. Yeah, this is heavy. But the reason why I said oh my god is because that looks amazing. Like, I'm not kidding. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. This now, this I can seriously tell us as because it gets. No judgment, just as because it gets. Alright, let's get in detail. Hmm. Oh, this one doesn't seem to have too much wing flex. JC Wings mode, I believe. Alright. Zoom in in front. Nose, cockpit windows, connecting people United World, E Tops, Taxi Gear, Star Alliance, United Titles, more doors than the pretty low G and X engines. The the gear oh my god, I really moves smoothly. Just don't use it as a toy. And then the wing November one two zero one ten. You blue tail. Oh shoot. Okay. Other side of the plane. Oh man, do I hear something? Oh, this is plastic. Plastic. Wow. OMG, plastic. Yeah. Compare to 2014. This is not plastic. Whoa, that's really weird. I thought 737 molds are supposed to be plastic. A little reasonable. Flexing stabilizer, also plastic at the same time. Nevertheless, under this model. Alright, that concludes for this first four model massive unboxing. I count like four models as massive unboxing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video with some beautiful... And pretty bad sus models I got. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to organize this models first right now to make a thumbnail. So, yeah. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And part of the next Massive Unboxing will be next year. Alright. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.